Hey, welcome back to the podcast. Welcome to the Coffee with Content Creators podcast. My name is Rob Dallas Sabis. I'm really glad that you're here. Um, I hope you guys are hearing me okay. Let me know uh, what you think of the audio. I mean, I'll hear myself after the recording, but um, yeah, I'm using this Shure Move mic and um, it's a really good wireless mic. It's connected to my Mac Mini right now. Um, and um, yeah, let me know what you think. Anyways, it's, it's really convenient. I've actually been using it. Um, they, uh, yeah, they hooked us up um, at VidSummit with these. And uh, I've been using it ever since. I've been using it for Zoom calls, podcast recordings, obviously, um, even on my phone, creating like, you know, some quick shorts. And um, yeah, it's been super, super, uh, super, super convenient. Um, and so anyways, um, yeah, I hope you guys are all doing really well. Um, I wanted to talk about of course, recurring revenue <laughs> for content creators today. So I want to share some thoughts around, you know, kind of building and going from one-off revenue streams, one-off revenue sources to recurring revenue. And just being really smarter when it comes to monetizing your content and, and building your business as a content creator. You know, there's so many different, you know, things that we could go into when it comes to recurring revenue for content creators, right? You know, so, you know, why is recurring revenue important? Why is it essential? Why is it something that you should even uh, think about? And really, like, there is uh, really two main reasons in my mind. One is for stability, right? You want to um, have a st stable, like, over time, long term um, revenue, and, you know, just like any business, if you're having recurring revenue every single month regularly, then you can plan your business, right? There's no like this crazy feast and, and famine, feast and famine, up and down, up and down um, of your business, right? It's very stable, right? You can predict your revenue, um, which is great for growth, for the ability to um, invest in um, resources, tools, um, maybe even team members, personnel, um, invest in new channels of growth, right? Um, hire an editor, hire a videographer, um, hire a business manager, all of these things. You can make these decisions because you know that, hey, next month, next month after that, and the month after that, I have revenue, okay? You want to really understand um, the value of your existing content, right? You don't want to be in this rat race of creating more content just for the sake of creating more content because maybe, hey, if you stop creating content, you're no longer going to make any revenue, right? You want to make sure that you're choosing the right models for your business, right? Subscription-based business, um, memberships. Are you going to make an exclusive community that's paid you know, what kind of value add are you going to be bringing to the table for your audience that they will then pay you on a recurring basis, okay? You may want to start looking at repackaging and repurposing your content. Uh, we talk about that all the time here. You know, there's a great tool out there. For example, Opus Clip, which is an awesome tool. I use them all the time. And um, you can take your content, your long-form content, and repackage it, but then taking those short, smaller forms of content and packaging it into perhaps courses, collections, um, a library that people can access. You know, if you think about Netflix, for example, that's recurring revenue, right? Netflix has a very strong recurring revenue, as you know. Um, any sort of streaming type of um, content um, behind a paywall that's a library where you have new content, maybe paid live streams, exclusive live streams, a paid community. This is all recurring revenue. This is what we're talking about here, okay? All right, so let's get into it. So um, first question is why recurring revenue, again, is essential, right? So the first thing I would advise here is that you can build so many different revenue streams. As a content creator these, these days, right, um, we have so much access to tools, so many, so many opportunities, so many shiny objects, good and bad. It's a good thing that we have opportunities. It's a bad thing that we have so many, right? Because then sometimes we either freeze and don't do anything or we try to do too much. We try to start too many things all at the same time and you spread yourself thin and nothing is successful. Nothing really takes off. And so my advice here is to start small, 
okay? Start with one recurring revenue stream and really experience that, like really get your, get your hands dirty, like really take, you know, like really go in, all in on it and put your all into it so that you do that one thing really, really well. There's so many examples of uh, creators that I've met, that I've spoken to, that only have one or two revenue streams. They have a membership and maybe they do some coaching or they have a membership and then they do, you know, a mastermind retreat for their high ticket members. Um, And that's all they do. And that's all they focus on and they're masters at it and they do it really, really well. So my advice, my first advice here is start small, build one recurring revenue stream, okay? Maybe that is a membership. Maybe that's a paid community. Maybe that's a new course every single month, right? You wanna get away from the one-off courses, but if that's where you start, that's where you start, okay? Once you've built a few of these really successful courses, you can bundle it into a membership where you're no longer selling one-offs, you're selling a membership so that people can access your entire library of courses, okay? Next thing you wanna do is you wanna understand the value of your existing content, right? You wanna identify what your audience consistently engages with. What do they really like? What what are they coming to you for, right? Um, That can become really foundational for a subscription model. For example, a creator focused on fitness could turn popular workouts into a monthly subscription offering, right? Where people are, you know, maybe they're consuming that fitness creator's content on Instagram or YouTube, uh, more likely, and doing workouts. But now you're gonna turn that into a subscription based business where you have a community, where you have maybe a calendar of daily workouts so that the person, your, that person's member, doesn't have to think and search around every single day on YouTube. They're just given the, hey, today, today, today's Tuesday, so we're gonna work out you know, our arms. Here's the workout that we're gonna watch. Uh, hey, tomorrow is Wednesday, we're gonna do legs. Here's the workout that we're gonna go through. Once you're done the workout, you wanna post that inside a community, in our community that you've done the workout, taking a selfie of yourself, you're sweaty, and you're gonna post it in the community that you've done it, right? And so there's so many more aspects to that. There's accountability now, there's community, connection, there's this order, right? The order of the content where you're taking away um, that members need to figure out what they're going to work out tomorrow. You're just in there, they're in the membership. And so they're being told, Hey, this is what we're going to work out tomorrow. You know, it's kind of like um, CrossFit, right? When you go to CrossFit, they already have the workout of the day already figured out for you. You don't have to figure anything out, right? That's part of the thing that you're paying for if you're in CrossFit, right? And you want to do that. And so that's kind of the thing with memberships as well. Okay, so next thing you want to do is you want to choose the right monetization model, right? Not everything is the same. Not every, you know, what works for this creator may not work for you. What works for you may not work for them, right? And so you want to survey your audience, right? This is something that I always advise a lot is survey your audience. Always continually survey your audience. Whether it's an actual survey, like an actual, like, you know, uh, survey monkey or Google Forms or type form type of survey, or you do a survey, um, easily on your Instagram stories, right? In the, you know, polls sticker, right? That you would use on Instagram stories and really just like get that information all the time. Always have a finger on the pulse of what your audience is looking for, right? And so you wanna survey what type of exclusives or extra content they would like to see, right? Um, You know, uh, you can, again, create a a gated community, a private community where you can do the surveying, right? You can survey them there, right? You can run polls there as well. And so by doing that, you'll be able to figure out, okay, do I build a membership, which is really, you know, an exclusive access to a community? Do I want to do subscriptions, which is ongoing content? Um... Or do I wanna have tiers, right? There's so many different decisions that you make. Of course, I don't wanna overwhelm you. This is something you start building on. You don't wanna have too many tiers, right? Too many tiers, meaning like too many different levels of access to your subscription or your membership. You just wanna have maybe one or two, maybe a monthly, and then maybe an annual subscription, right? Um, You wanna keep it simple. As As it grows, you may see opportunities to create 
tiers, maybe a bronze, um, bronze, silver, and gold membership level, right? And so you want to do those things, okay? So choosing the right monetization model is really important. Um, you want to look at your content and you want to be strategic in repurposing the content and also repackaging the content, okay? Packaging and repurposing, okay? Um, you may want to consider sort of like a, a best of archive of all of your awesome training and paid content. Um, you know, where the subscribers there, your subscribers for your membership can gain access to all of those things. Uh, you may want to um, stop doing live streams on YouTube and only do live streams within your paid community or your paid membership, right? You may want to compile all the responses that you've ever had for your monthly FAQs and turn that into some type of uh, content. Maybe it's a paid newsletter, right? That's another thing that I've started to see lately is paid newsletters, right? There's a free newsletter and then there's the paid newsletter, okay? So check out ConvertKit. They have some really good content on how to do that if that's something that you desire to do, okay? And then lastly, I would say like engaging and retaining your subscribers once you've started, started to build a membership. It's not all about, you know, a lot of people will look at the numbers of, um, of uh, new members, right? Acquisition. Am I growing? Am I getting new members all the time? It's good, right? You're getting new members. But more importantly as well, yeah, equally or more, more importantly is that um, are you retaining those members, right? Um, what is your churn, right? What's your retention rate? Meaning, are people signing up but then canceling the next month? How long are they staying around in your membership, right? If they're not staying around for more than a couple of months, then you've got a real issue there. You've got a problem you've got to fix. You've got to figure out what's going on with the back door because it's open. People are leaving through the back door, right? They're coming in, they're excited. Let's go, I'm here. And then they cancel very shortly, very quickly they cancel. They found for some reason that this is not a membership that they want to stick around in. You know, it's not worth whatever it is that they're paying. And so you want to be really mindful of that. You want to survey when people cancel, because they will, you're not, there's, I haven't seen a membership that has 100% retention, 0% churn, never. So you're going to have people that will cancel for whatever reason, you know, it could be their own financial reasons. It could be their own time commitment reasons. They just can't find the time or they don't have the funds or things have changed in their life that they're no longer able to be part of your membership or your paid community. And that's fine. That'll happen. But if it's something that you're doing, maybe you are not delivering on what they expected in terms of content, in terms of community, in terms of the connection, in terms of the transformation that you had um, advertised, um, then that's something that you need to fix. You need to address that. So you want to survey, right? You want to always have a, some type of feedback loop whenever you are, um, when people cancel. But you also want to have feedback loop regularly, surveying at least quarterly. Hey, how are things? You know, you want to have quick surveys, three questions, two questions, right? Um, you want to maintain that connection with them, right? You want to maintain that connection with them. A lot of people that have um, really su successful memberships um, have so many touch points with their members. They have touch points with their members in the content. They do live streams perhaps, and so they're having engagement. They have um, some live streams or office hours where the members are also able to turn on their camera, and ask questions, right? They may do hot seats, right? More interactions, right? They're getting so much value. Um, they have touch points in the community, in the, in the posts, in the threads, comments, in the community, right? Asynchronous. Um, they have a newsletter. I think I may have said that already, but they have a regular newsletter, not just for their subscribers, but also a specific newsletter, maybe just for their members, right? Members, a members only newsletter. Um, Sometimes they'll do uh, random sort of, you know, calls and, you know, um, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to remember. It's a long day, so I forget now, but um, there's a creator that's really smart where every month he offers to hop on five to ten calls with his members um, and he just puts it up in the community 
And, um, and then he offers a gift card for everybody that takes him up on the offer to hop on a quick 10 minute call. And it's just a touch base. He just wants to know, hey, how are things going? Is there anything do you think that we're missing? Is there any opportunities? Is there something that you think we should add, we should remove? Um, you know, here at, at Uscreen, um, my, um, I report to a, a really smart guy, his name is Shrey Sankar, and um, he told me the other day, like, hey, let's, let's review this, this strategy that we did, this campaign that we did, and let's figure out what we can start, stop, and keep, right? And so those three, really three simple questions. What can we start? What can we stop? And what can we keep, right? And so, um, yeah, so engaging, retaining subscribers is really important. Feedback loop, all of those touch points really add up. And honestly, you're protecting yourself. You're making your, your membership so unique, so value-packed. And it's not just the content. It's the connections that you are building. And so those connections, not only with you, but also with the other members, between the members, that's really what you want to do. When people have friends in a community, in a membership, they're less likely to leave. They're less likely to cancel. Okay. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, that's been really on my mind. Um, you know, it's on, it's on my mind pretty often just thinking about, okay, one-off revenue versus recurring revenue streams. And so hopefully that's helpful for you guys. If you guys have any questions, by all means, please drop them in the comments. If you've been here and you've gone this far in the episode thank you so much i appreciate you please just say hello in the chat or sorry in the comments just so i know that you know you've been listening and i'd love to connect with you and check out your content also um, make sure you subscribe to my newsletter it goes out every couple of weeks and just some new updates some things that i'm thinking about um you know content wise events wise just things that are on my mind and and that's relevant to uh creators like yourself and so make sure you subscribe to that. It is in the uh, description and show notes. Um, and yeah, hope everything is going well. Um, and we'll talk to you very soon. All right. God bless you. Take care.